Hi everyone, I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights. This video today is for Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. If you are new to my page, please like and share and subscribe for any latest videos that I may present, okay? If you are new to my page, you guys are in for treats. I actually have something really exciting for all of you, as always, okay? My energy is very direct, very straightforward, and I believe in being as honest as possible, okay? And I try my best. Give me one second. Close the door. Okay, so I try my best to be as upfront and honest as possible. Okay, I do have a little one, so he should have been in the room. Okay, so this is for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay, so, so far what it seemed like is that there is a few cards here talking about patience. And um, I feel like a lot of you are... Trying to find your way back. If I can, like, really sum it up. That's what you guys are doing. You're trying to find your way back, okay? So, the first thing that popped out was the patience card, okay? Patience is what it is, right? It's all about just waiting until the time is right. Trying to be as humble as possible through the process. Trying to um, be more understanding through the process. Maybe holding your head high through the process, not giving up. Um, basically, just standing still in that moment. That moment where you feel like all hope is lost and everything, you're losing everything and all hope is lost. And you feel like you want to give up, but, right? Patience is going to be your very best friend this season. For a lot of you, patience is going to be your best friend, okay? So, let's sit this here. This is the angel of patience, okay? So, let's sit this here because I feel like time is on your side. Even though it may not feel like it at this very moment, and even though you may feel like there's a lot going on that you can't really control, your word of signs don't really like not being in control. So when things are like sporadically happening and it seem like God has given up on you, I want to remind you that patience is a virtue patience is literally going to be your best friend this season okay and even though you may feel like for some of you you may feel like well i have been patient for the past four or five months i have been very patient and you know no matter what i do no matter what i pray about no matter what i say no matter how i do or how i react it just doesn't work right but that is where you can be wrong it is working. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I feel like there's also some issues here in love. So, guys, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and even particularly Venus and Scorpio. I would like if you all can review your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign just to make sure or to gain extra clarity about what this reading is saying. Just because there's a lot of emotions involved in this particular reading, okay? So, you guys also got walking away, okay? A lot of you may be separated from someone for a little while, okay? Or you may have to walk out on a particular situation for a particular reason. So this could be walking away from a job, walking away from a relationship, walking away from a, t a particular person or a particular environment. And not forever, but just temporarily. I feel like this separation is necessary to kind of help you gain uh, some type of perspective about yourself and about your situation and about your spirituality. There is something um, in, in, that is trans 
in the middle of transitioning right now. Something is changing as we speak. So something is changing and I feel like you all have to not just have patience, okay? But not only do you have to have patience, but this is definitely something that you are breaking away from. This situation, whatever is happening, has to happen. Because if it does not happen, then you won't understand why you had to have patience all along anyway. So this literally is going to hand with this, okay, with patience. You're walking away from what no longer serves you. You again, it may not be necessarily a bad thing, okay? Because for each and every one of you, this situation will most certainly play out differently, okay? For those of you, it could be a career situation. Maybe you're walking away from a position or a job that you maybe you feel like you know what my time has ended here i know that i can do better elsewhere and maybe now you are deciding that you want to just get up and leave maybe you are tired at the fact that they don't appreciate you this could even be in a relationship i feel like um that because i see a lot of emotions here i see also a man holding a heart so this is definitely a lot of love or some type of uh, deep emotions that is on the mind that you guys are thinking about. And a lot of you um, are going to be thinking about these situations in a very deep manner where um, it, it will actually take a lot of patience um, to either get through to the situation or get through to this particular person. Okay, so, but nevertheless, you guys are definitely walking away from a situation that no longer serve you. This may be stepping into a new you, a new job, a new career, a new relationship, or this could be simply getting rid of um, old habits, okay? Um, things that, you know, you may have felt like old habits worked for you in the past, and now you're seeing that, you know what? Maybe this is not the way I should be. Maybe I should change the way I speak. Maybe I should change the way I dress. Maybe I should try to better myself with my communication. Um, something is off. And I feel like a lot of you are recognizing that. You are recognizing the, the disconnect. You are recognizing that something, is, it has to be off. Something is not right. And I feel like it's hurting a lot of you, okay, because I feel like a lot of you want to make it better, but for some reason, a lot of you are feeling that disconnect, okay? And again, this message is for Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces, okay? So for you, hmm, for you, Scorpio in particular, this is definitely about being patient, and trying to be humble even in the process, okay? Allowing the universe to give you what you deserve and not trying to force this situation to happen. When we try to force things before it is time for it to happen, many things can go wrong. So I feel like this message is strictly for you, Scorpio. It's to strictly just be patience and to be mindful of your circumstance and of your situation of who you have grown to be okay and walking away um i think this could be from basically cancer or in scorpio maybe just because um it takes a lot it takes a lot for you all to, especially Cancer and Scorpio, sorry, I thought I heard something. So, especially for you, Cancer and Scorpio, this is for you. Some of you are walking away. Or you may have had thoughts about walking away. And the universe is basically reminding you that patience is a virtue, my love. So just in the moments where you think that everything is going against what you believe, when you believe that everything is not working out for you in your favor, when you believe that everything is crumbling and you don't know what to do, right? That is when the universe is actually saying, listen, patience is a virtue. I need you to be patient because I'm trying to bless you with something. So even though you ultimately may want to just walk out and give up and um, not follow through with that initial plan, right? Whatever it is, the universe is saying that patience is a virtue.
You may be waiting for something. And this is for all of you. You may be waiting for something. And it, and, and I'm feeling like it may not have come through just yet. And it's causing you to lose your patience. All right. So for most of you, this is really, really, really deep stuff. You know, this is really about, you know, love. This could be really about, um, for a lot of you, this is like someone who is dealing with a lot of deep emotion. This could be you or it could be a spouse. Um, for some of you, I feel like you may want to kind of pour out your feelings a lot this season and kind of let someone know what you feel, um, that you don't want to give up on this love affair, that you don't want to give up on this relationship, that you do love them and that you do care. Um, I know that cancers love with a very open heart and, you know, they can be very open-minded when it comes to love because they love to love. But Scorpios, on the other hand, deal with everything in a very logical um, way where they tend to lack empathy and emotion. And when, if they do end up showing some type of emotion or empathy, it's only because that person makes them feel insecure. But it, however, when Scorpios and Pisces are like anyway, when they feel like they do feel safe with a person and all of a sudden they don't that scares them so i feel like you guys are going through that phase where a lot of you are going to kind of um stand up for yourself and speak your piece and um this could be for a male in particular or this could be a lot of masculine energy maybe you're dealing with a man who is not so emotional or maybe they are and maybe you're not the type of person that like to dwell on um, strong, tense emotions. And Scorpio or Pisces, now you are granted the opportunity to actually set the record straight. Okay? So this is a season where, because I see a man holding a heart here. And so this is definitely a love situation. And this is definitely someone who has been holding back or holding on to something that they probably need to let go of. So Pisces, if you are in a relationship where um, Pisces, if you are in a relationship where you feel like this person is not totally for you or maybe you have been flirting with someone and maybe they have become too possessive or too obsessive okay i just see a lot i feel I haven't felt this way in a long time. I feel a lot of heavy emotions. I and I'm trying to I just I just keep hearing Scorpio and Pisces. I just keep feeling a lot of deep emotions. I feel like you guys are thinking very heavily about someone or Maybe you guys are missing someone. I feel like you guys are in a position now where maybe in the past you didn't really consider everything. And you didn't consider your spouse's feelings or emotions or um, maybe you just didn't look that deep into the, the, the marriage or the relationship. And now you're going through a phase where... There's nothing more important to you than that. And now you're fighting, trying to help this person understand that you have now changed into this person. And now you you want them, you whoever this person is, you want your spouse to 
you know, be a bit patient with you and you want them to kind of have understanding. You don't really want them to walk away. You want them to, to listen. You want them to hear you out and you are pleading for your relationship. You want them to understand that you do love them and that you do care, that you respect them and that you want to be there and you want to support them. And I feel like they, they are literally on the way out the door and you are saying, listen, I am giving you all of me. I am giving you my heart. And I'm trying and I'm trying and I'm trying. Why are you not listening? Why aren't you not listening to me? I don't want to be without you. I don't want to break up. I don't want to say goodbye. I don't want to. I don't want to. I like it here. I like this space. I like how you make me feel. I love what we have. I love what we share. Please wait. Please don't leave me. Please be patient. Please understand. That I was going through something at that moment. And I didn't mean it. I do love you. I didn't mean it. I, just, I feel an apology coming on very strongly. And I don't feel this through cancer. I feel this more certainly with either Pisces or Scorpio. I feel this very strongly. I did not mean it. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I do love you. I'm sorry I, I, I was too caught up in myself and my own emotions that I did not see clearly to what you were trying to show me. I'm sorry. I hear an apology coming on. Scorpio Pisces, listen to me. And this is what you are feeling. You need to be honest about everything. Not just one or two things, but you need to be honest about everything. Okay? For cancer, I feel like for cancer, I feel like this person this person may be apologizing to you. They may be trying to make it up to you. Um, there's an ex coming. Cancer, there's someone trying to come back. There's someone who wants to come back to you. And... I mean, it's totally a choice, Cancer. If you decide if you want to be back with this person. This is fucking interesting. It's so interesting because this is not even a total love reading. And it just... I just sense a lot of downpour, like, hear me out, I love you, I want you, I need you, and whether this is you all giving that energy out, some of you may be actually receiving some of that energy where people are apologizing, saying that I love you, forgive me, I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. They didn't mean anything to me. I messed up. I fucked up. Please take me back. A lot of you are even still dealing with someone where it does require patience. A lot of patience. Ooh, water signs. Your energy is deep this season. Oh my God, it's so deep. I'm sorry, guys. I have not had this energy from you in a really long time. And I, I realized that I didn't even let you know that you all will be receiving a individual reading from me. So Cancer will get their own reading. Scorpios will get their own reading. Pisces will get their own reading. And I'm thankful for that just because this reading is so heavy. I need to figure out where this energy is coming from. I need to know. I need to know. Guys, if you are watching this video, please comment below. Give me some type of confirmation because, I mean, especially if you are a, um, mm, 
if you are a white lighter or um someone who like all my readers or my psychics I need clarity, guys. This is deep. This is some deep, deep, deep. Some of you are really being told that someone is about to walk away. And you don't want that. You don't want that. You're like, listen, I love you. Please don't do this to me. Don't do this to us. Please don't divorce me. Please don't separate yourself. Please don't move out. And for some of you, this is just simply walking away from old habits. But I feel like you're still struggling with that. Even with the need or even with the want to just move on and let some things go, I still feel a struggle. And I feel it very, very deeply. I feel it so fucking deeply. Patience is a virtue, guys. No matter what you are going through, patience is a virtue. I feel your energy so deeply. I need to know whose energy this is. Mm. I don't feel like it's too much of Pisces. Like I feel like for some of you Pisces, I feel like there's actually new love coming your way, but you still have to be pretty much open if you want it to work. And you may be the one that's walking away from old habits and old concerns and old ways and old things that no longer serve you. Cancer, you too. I just feel like it's, it's a lot of patience. But for either Cancer or, or either Scorpio or Pisces, one of you are really, 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 really going through this phase of I don't want to let go. I don't want to let go. How can I be better? How can I make it up to you? What can I do to serve you? What can I do to make things better? What can I do to make things right? What can I do to show you that I need you and that I do want you? I just feel this very heavily. It's very heavy. Very heavy. <sighs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I really want to elaborate on this message, but it is so heavy and it's hurting me because I can't really determine who's actually hurting right now. Please comment and message me if you need to. Please comment, say whatever you're going to say. For those of you that don't know me, I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights. I am an intuitive spiritual advisor i am also a physical intuitive empath and so a lot of times especially when i'm doing readings sometimes feelings creep up that i don't like to feel and right now i think i'm having one of those moments so i do apologize but for some of you this could be new love so I'm excited, but I'm also like, I mean, this feeling is so like, so I'm excited to see what each individual reading will look like because it is very, very heavy and it's weighing on me really bad. You guys don't even know, like my heart is like. But I feel like some of you are ready for a new beginning. Thank you, universe. I feel like some of you are ready for a new beginning. You are ready for a fresh start. You you want to make that commitment. You you don't care. You're like, look, I don't, I don't care what happens or what used to happen. Trust me, get, just give me some time and I'm going to show you what I'm all about. I'm not doing that old stuff I used to do anymore. I'm going to show you what I'm really about. You know, this is really, really touching and really amazing. And for some of you, this is just strictly walking away and, you know, walking away from what no longer serve you and walking away from something that is full of toxic energy. You guys are definitely in the period of transformation right now where there's a lot of transition happening. 
I love you guys. Please comment below. Comments, comments, comments. Let me know how you all are feeling. Um, please subscribe for the latest videos. I am going to do each individual reading for all of you. So please stay tuned for that as well. On Saturdays, we have Saturday Sensation. Thursdays, we have Think It Over Thursday. And Mondays, we have Monday Prosperity Mondays, okay? And Tuesdays is Terror Tuesday. So guys, please, please double check. Come back and say what's going on and see how everyone is doing and everything. I love you, but I have to go. This energy is like really like... Like, I'm not kidding. I got emotional more than once, and I'm not even an, an emotional person. So, this is really, 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 really too, too much for me at the moment. So, I love you guys. Please message me if you need me, okay? Don't deal with this alone. Okay? Bye.